Angelo Marquis, Mr. Mickey Dolan. Daydream, we're leaving 9.36 in the morning, December 25th, 1986. Mickey Dolan, special guest disc jockey this morning, just off of Good Morning America. Mr. Leonard, get a, don't be Kudos. shoving your autograph yeah, book on. in his face. Well, I just wanted to make sure that... Go ahead and sign the other guy's name. Wait a minute. <laughs> 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 and sign the other name. I do it all the time. No problem. You can't yeah. sign David. You can't sign David Jones's name. Well, Davey isn't here. I know <laughs> that. He is, he just... He's, just, he's down there. Hey, Davey. All yeah, he no. can sign is... I am standing up. <laughs> he can just sign Mickey Dolan, son. That's it. Okay. Oh, my funny. He's got a lot of fans on the phone. People have just forgotten about you. They want to talk to him. Well, all right, fine. <laughs> Go to the <laughs> studio lines. Good morning, Z100. Hello? Good morning. Yeah, uh, Mickey. Hi. Yeah, I just want to tell you how much I like your show, because when I first heard the monkeys, I said, yeah. <laughs> oh, you did, So huh? did I. Yeah, and then when I... <laughs> So when I saw you guys on MTV when they had the monkeys all month long, yeah. I think you guys are the best. Thank you very much. And if you're wondering, on Channel 9 at 10 o'clock, the uh, TV shows are on. Oh, great. Let's go watch I'll try it. i catch it. He hasn't seen him in a while. No. Yeah. Good morning, Z100. Hello? Hello? Hi. Who's there? <laughs> Who'd you call? Oh, my God. Is this Mickey Dolan? Yeah, hi. It's Bo Donaldson. <laughs> oh, God. I saw you at the pier on... On Wednesday, on uh, Tuesday, and you were so wonderful, and I had to stand on a chair for two hours, and I was online. Oh, my God. Five hours. Well, did you enjoy the show? Yeah, oh, it was so wonderful. Oh, great, thanks. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay, bye. Bye. Good morning, Z100. Oh, Z100? Right. Um, I have a question, because um, I, want, I want money from you guys. Right. Um, <laughs> I want a bicycle. Right. Um, and you guys send me a $20 check <laughs> to fix the bike, and I took it to a bike store to fix and I gave him the check and they wouldn't take it. Oh, <laughs> hold on. I'll send Mickey I'll send Mickey right over with some cash. Yeah, right away. Hold on, I have somebody to get with you. What the heck's he talking about? I don't know. <laughs> Sounds like a here. zebra to me. Good morning, <laughs> Z100. Yes, Mickey there? Yeah, yeah hi. 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 I'd um, like to tell you that you are fabulous. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I went to your concert Tuesday and I... Turn your radio down. It's bothering Mickey. Come on, I turn your radio my down. Vocal, my uh, voice, voice box thick singing to you. straight in no. my voice box. Good morning. Les? Hi. Hi. I was born in 1970, and I used to watch your show every day as a little girl. My sister was, like, growing up. She was, like, about 17. She had, like, nine albums. Oh, great. And I was so disappointed when you guys left. Oh. It was, like, so good that you're back. But I can't go see you. You what? I can't go see you guys. Why? Huh? Why? Because I have, like, no tickets, no money. Oh. Every time I call in, I never get it. We're going to give away some tickets in a few minutes, too. They're going to be at our birthday party at Garden State Arts Center. We'll give some tickets. It's going to be Saturday, a week from this Saturday, okay? Okay. We'll do it in a few minutes. One more call this time. Hello, good morning. How did you with the Mickey Dolan's of the Monkeys? Hi. Hi. How are you? How fine, and you? I'm great. What's your name? My name is Carol. Hi, Carol. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I wanted to see you at Jones Beach, but I couldn't get tickets. Oh, well, we'll be back. Back at oh, Jones Beach great. and also Garden State Arts Center and... They're going to be and everywhere. Movie Center in Philadelphia and... Lots of places. Yeah, have I'll come over to your house. Yeah, what's the, he'll, he'll be at the VFW post in Livingston. <laughs> We're doing a bar mitzvah on uh, Sunday night. And let's, let's talk. Uh, let's talk about some music just for a second, because you know, a lot of time you guys get kind of like as performing. I have an old record. Gosh, I just remember this. I have an old record with you on what label is that? I collect oldies. Huh? What was it? You were, I think you did it right after Circus Sports, a solo record. Yeah, yeah. Was it on Lomar? What was it? What was it? I can't remember the name of the label myself. God, it was was it Don't Do It or... or uh, don't Do It. Don't Do It. Was that it? How many records were you before you were in the Monkeys? Yeah, right? I was before the Monkeys. I did three records before the Monkeys, yeah. That but didn't make the top ten, did it? No. Didn't think it was, so. It was uh, 140 with an anchor. You guys, <laughs> you, guys did, you guys were real big in Japan. You toured in Japan quite a bit. Didn't yeah, you? I did a lot there, yeah. What do you listen to when, you, when you're at home and when you're not... I know you're busy this summer with the summer tour, but... What, what, what music? Do I listen to? Yeah, other Beatles. Kind of Beatles? Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> just the, be the Beatles I'm, I'm, and the Monkeys, right? I'm stuck in the, in the early 60s with the Beatles. We had uh, Julian Lennon on the show about a month and a half, two months ago. 
And, uh, and believe it or not, he meant she said that he enjoyed the, the sound of the monkeys because it was happy and it was music that made you feel good. That's right. Yeah, that's true. We had a good time doing it, and I think that, that shows. Just so you don't like Mel and Tim, man, you're okay. <laughs> I'm starting all over again. <laughs> Mickey Dolan says, here's more. We got a new album that uh, they just dropped off by Billy Joel called The Bridge. You want to introduce this new one? It's a good one, yeah, and this is new record, Billy Joel, A Matter of Trust. What on my disc jockey voice? It's Billy Joel, A Matter of Trust. Oh, Take it from the Columbia LP, The Bridge. What is my two, two three, four. Radio, Z100, let's hear a band new from Billy Joel. It's called A Matter of Trust. He didn't take any, he didn't take any chances on this album. New album called The Bridges got Ray Charles on here. He's got Cindy Lauper. We'll feature some more cuts for the album. Of course, I did some background vocals for him on a few cuts. Okay. Sure, yeah. Yeah. We got, let me, I, mean, yeah. I, got, I got a couple people on hold. I'll get them real quick. They want to say goodbye to Mickey. Good morning, Mickey Dolan's hotline. Hey. Hello. Hello. I guess you have to go. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. Hi, can I just ask one question? Yeah. Okay, I want to know if you're going to do a video, so that was then and this is now. Funny you should ask! Yeah. We were just talking about it. And we're on our it. way right this minute. As soon as I say goodbye, we're on our way to shoot our new video. <laughs> ask him where he's going to shoot it. Oh, are you going to release anytime, anyplace, anywhere? Because I think that sounds great. Do you like it? Well, I you never it. know. Okay. Could be. Thank you, because right. I like it, too. Bye-bye. Okay. We just we just sit here talking about the the new the Beatles on this. It's kind of a new Beatles song because it's in the movie Ferris Bueller. And Twist and Shout's a hit. And what did you just say? I wanted to redo. I wanted to redo Shout, and I just found out that you guys do it, and I love it. Here's your big chance as we say goodbye. Here we go. Mickey Dolan before he goes. Congratulations again on the great job you're doing. Good morning, America. Thank you. And Thank happy you birthday much. to your little daughter. She's all seven. Right. Seven today. Yeah, three. 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 And oh, happy literally. birthday to you. And you're how old? Let's all <laughs> let's all sing three. shout with Mickey today. Wish him goodbye. Are you gonna you gonna sing along with him? You got it. You gonna sing with him? Come you on. gonna sing with Mickey? Why not? Right. Hey. You gonna sing with Mickey? Hello, Mickey. Hi. You gonna sing with Mickey? Hey. Yeah. You gonna sing with Mickey? Yeah. All right. You gonna sing with Mickey? Yeah. Let's go. Oh. All right. You make me want to shout, 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 sh
Stupid. Come on, Pete. And um, same as I will. Same as Groucho will always be one of the uh, one of the Marx Brothers. But uh, Mike would, um, I think, um, wish as well on this tour, and uh, has wished as well. Um, he sent his likeness along in a dummy form, but um, I think somewhere before the end of the tour we'll find him on stage with us, and if not there, on the television screens in a, an upcoming special that we hope to be making. Why weren't you at Live Aid? I was busy in, in, in London. <laughs> Nobody asked him. <laughs> This is getting, now, that, now the good stuff's going to happen. All the goofy questions. It's in a show called Godspell, and we did a, a charity benefit uh, on the Sunday um, that they were doing. Everybody gets real defensive, oh, too. Oh, yes. I was busy that day. I was busy. I, th I think he thought Dave meant as a spectator, not as a group. Yeah, exactly. He should have said, no, I didn't. He should have, that's what he should have said. Oh, I don't mean uh, uh, performing. I mean, why weren't you there? In the audience. Yeah, in the audience. <laughs> <laughs> in the stadium. <laughs> that would have been good. Well, I was eight. Uh, we um, we don donated all the proceeds from the evening's performance and all the way through my run in the West End there was a band-aid bin at the front of the theatre and after every performance I would say on your way out ladies and gentlemen please everybody of course has to uh, get into the act <laughs> he's like Bob Geldof Jr. now all of a sudden so that's for the cast and myself are supporting the needy people Please put your coppers, put your dollars, put your checks in there. And we did that. Have you ever been confused with any of the blow monkeys? The oh. blow monkeys? I hear there's a new group. I heard the record, so it's quite good. Uh, no, I think um, it's sort of like... Oh, this guy's answering every question. <laughs> Dave's doing like an in-depth interview here. When do we get to the goofy... What is it? Isn't there more goofy yeah, questions? I think they're coming up. Homosexuals? Yeah, I think they're coming up. All right. Um, did they have the Blow Beatles yet, or anything like that? Or the Blow Bee Gees? <laughs> blow Bee Gees? <laughs> I've done that. Who composes the monkey's audience? Oh, some guy, somebody, somebody just horned in, in yeah. on Dave's interview. <laughs> Who comprises the monkey's audience? Well, we can see what happened. How did Dave handle this? Did he kick the guy out? I don't think so. I think he just, like, with it away until the guy was done. Yeah. Yeah. Like, uh, um, did they have the Blow Beatles yet, or anything like that, or the Blow Bee Gees? David, in 1986, who comprises the monkey's audience? I would think from what we did this weekend, it would be a very broad... Hey, who is this guy? I think the people that saw MTV... Honing in on our interview! Get out of here! They about the monkeys, I asked them, when did they see it? And when they saw it, I know what reruns they watched, whether they were first, second, third... Who are the monkey schmunkies? And now it seems 20th, 20 year generation fans, you know, so... Some of the people that are... Boy, and Davy uh, Jones has uh, got uh, diarrhea of the mouth. This is a guy who's been holding it in for 20 years. Nobody's asking the question in a long time. Ten-year-olds screaming, crying, you know? So, I don't know where it's supposed to be at. Is this a little touch of monkey mania here? This oh. oh, he's staying hey, there. Hey, man. What's with that guy? This little touch of monkey mania. What is this? Hey. And what's with our guys that they don't know to cut this stuff out? Yeah. <laughs> Is there anything at all like it was when it was at its people? Well, obviously. This is unbelievable. This is like the president of the United States. Entertain the public. And that's what the monkeys do. And we're all here for the same reason. We're not Money. here to... Money is right. I don't right. think we've got any sort of knocking or biting questions this morning. People sort of putting the monkeys down. You can't put a good thing down. A good thing's worth... Well, wait, we haven't finished. <laughs> Have you ever had dinner with Susan Berkeley? So Susan Berkeley sounds familiar. Susan Becker, yeah. She's a star on the Howard Central in the morning. She does the traffic. Are you married? Um, I am married, but um, um, I have been... Are you available? I, 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 I have to speak to my wife about that. Okay, I think Susan would like to have dinner with you. Who is the manliest monkey? Well, what the hell is Dave doing? Ad living. Tell him never, never to, to ad, ad live. Never to ad Gary, when you get him in here. What's wrong with that guy? <laughs> Injecting a little of his own personality. Yeah, I mean, and his personality sucks. <laughs> well, it depends. We all sort of, uh, at different times during our uh, relationships, would uh, have the, the ultimate smile on our face and uh, the ultimate... He asked him who the manliest monkey is, and this is Davy Jones. Yeah, he doesn't get it. No. And, and the ultimate body beautiful, according to how, how much we were abusing it. But we all had great respect for each other, and I think um, um, sex appeal is something that uh, is in the eye of the beholder. And... Uh, Oh, we mean, how big is your trainer? Yeah, Davey. Davey might not like uh, Mike or Peter or Mickey, and I think uh, people...
And people attracted for different reasons. Were any of the monkeys ever attracted to each other? I think we were, and I, I, I Peter and I were very much attracted to each other. And um, but we, we stopped seeing each other because we thought it would cause a bit of a bother. But uh, we, we all love each other very much. But we've never. Any more goofy questions? I don't know. That might have been, might have been it. In internet. Participating in Hands Across America yesterday. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that day was too much. Where's he going with this one? What's with this Hands Across America thing every minute? It's uh, his claim to fame. Well, I think he's so upset that he got it wrong when he actually asked the people that were there that he's trying to make it up now. <laughs> he's like our retarded correspondent. Oh. This is like the news for the retarded. Do you think that if we asked any more embarrassing questions? I think this probably is it. He's yeah. probably off on his own tangent yeah. now if he goes any further. I think he's doing his own thing at this point. I, I don't know. I remember coming up with funnier questions. In fact, there was I I don't know. Didn't some girl called him. Colonel called in with a really great question. I didn't hear David. That was the one he asked during the press conference, the Partridge family one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. he should have saved that. Well, anyway. There it is, the monkey's interview. From Dead Dave. From Dead Dave. Yes. Very beautiful. Well, 1027 WNEW FM, the monkeys on the turntable, and the monkeys right here in the studio. Yeah, yeah. great. Yeah. On this the turntable. Mark, did you know that song was written by Barry Mann and Cynthia Wilde? No, but if you hum a few bars. <laughs> uh, I knew that. I, I knew that. That was a great song. I must say, it's good Thanks. to get off the turntable. <laughs> <laughs> they were going round and round. Now, I ask you this off the air. I'm going to ask you this on the air. How did the Beatles feel about the monkeys? They thought, they I liked remember us, them right. saying they liked it fine. In fact, John Lennon once said that uh, he thought we were like as funny as, as the Marx Brothers. I think they, they, I think they perceived it, uh, and most English people did understand what was going on, that we were a television show about a rock and roll group initially. And they perceived it as that. We never felt like we were in any competition with the, the Beatles. In fact, I've often said that monkeys were much more like the Marx Brothers. Than yeah, you should say it again. You say it again. Say it again and again. Boy, often they is loved not us. the word for how. They, yeah. I, was, I was their biggest fan. I mean, I, uh, I when I was their smallest fan. <laughs> when I was the middle Medium fan. Medium size fan. But who's been eating my porridge? <laughs> the monkey's and going why? on tour this summer with uh, horns and strings. And how many cities are you going to be well, playing? Well, not, not live strings. We have uh, little digital chips that make us... <laughs> uh, Don't tell them that, Peter. Well, I think we're going to go to at least... Uh, I think 97 60, cities. Oh, 97 cities. 100 <laughs> they just hey, added. Listen, the idea would be, shows. this is going to be great. You know, I, I hear so many times in England about... People saying they're going abroad. They, they, one day they're going to tour England and spend the summer having a look at the places th in their own country. This is the American dream, is to travel across from New York to California and see all these places in between. Well, we're going to do that. A couple of diversions here and there, go down to Florida, you know, all these different states we're going to see. It's going to be fabulous. I'm so much looking forward to it. Well, you guys are in good voice. You were just singing to their own tunes in the background here. I'd like to invite everyone to uh, uh, our first challenge match, which is going to be, uh, uh, maybe it will be passed by then. But so we're going to play the radio station, aren't we? We've got a great softball, softball team. Oh, you do Dick. have a great softball Dick. team. We have a great softball <laughs> team, okay, too. Okay, well, okay, yeah. these guys. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Hum, better, hum, better. You guys okay. were mentioning horns that are going to be in the show, and it was featured They are on great ball players. On this you song. You dirty rat. <laughs> You're the guy. Oh, the shoe. I'm oh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> dirty rat. Okay, I keep doing Mickey. Uh, we're going to do horns. Yes, and it was featured, of course, on this song, which was the flip side of Daydream Believer. We're doing a special on you guys on September 13th, and um, I've already spoken to Chip Douglas about it, and he said that this song was maybe like a second take for you. Do you have any remembrance of this oh, song? Oh, yeah, yes, just, I do. Knock this sucker off. We did this. I'll tell you, the story behind it is that this actually was going to be the track to another song, if you dare I say what it was. It was it. Mose Allison's uh, Seventh Son. Oh, And whoa. we did the track. No, Parchment Farm. Parchment's Farm, excuse me. Yeah, right, Parchment's but Farm, yeah. Confused. Confused. <laughs> and, and it was, you're right, I'm sorry, it was Parchment Farm. Did not hear you on a Parchment Farm. And, then we, and we did through. the track, and we thought, why should we do, uh, you know, in all respect, uh, yeah. you know, because uh, the, chord, the chord changes, it does, doesn't matter what the chord changes were. So Diane Hildebrand uh, wrote the, uh, the lyrics, and here it is. <laughs> The monkeys at 1027 WNEW FM, six minutes before 10 o'clock. They're eating breakfast. Yes, monkeys do eat. <laughs> nice talk. <laughs> Peter, Peter, why don't you tell the audience what you're having for breakfast this morning? No, I'm, having, I'm having a scrambled egg on rye toast sandwich. I think he said I'm scrambled egg on rye. Scrambled egg on rye toast without the scrambled egg. Dave said scrambled egg without the rye. Without the sandwich. Great. 
Isn't this interesting, guys? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Mickey fun. ain't eating nothing. Really really yeah, Mickey is needing. He can scorn the rest of us. Go ahead and scoff, Mickey. Scoff, 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 scoff. The monkeys are our special guests. After this, we'll come right back with them. I thought you gentlemen might like to know I found your music primitive, grotesque, and ugly. <laughs> but it sure keeps your foot tapping, don't it? What he means to say is we'll be right back after the commercial. We are live here with the monkeys. More or less live. They've eaten breakfast with us. They've yes. sang with us. And they're dressed sharply today. If I was, oh, alive, I if I was alive today, I'd be a very sick man. <laughs> Davy Jones. And, uh, I am so standing up. What do you mean, stand up? <laughs> I love I my heart in Abu Dhabi. Yeah, we, you... we went to Abu Dhabi. We were in Australia, Peter and I. Um, and uh, we, when the pilot says, we will be now, we're making our final descent into Abu Dhabi. Oh, you were Abu gone. Dhabi? Ah, Abu Dhabi? Abu Dhabi, where the, the song goes, heavy on the way. So we changed all the songs we knew, like, uh, I wish they all could be Abu Dhabi girls. And it was weird, we were singing on the plane, and these people going, monkeys are the craziest people. <laughs> but we had to keep going 28 hours on an airplane, you know, it's too, too much. You know you can make phone calls from airplanes now? Who do you call? The pilot. Right. <laughs> Where are we going? Can you land, please, immediately? How far does the, does the phone go? Can you call, like, uh, Australia if you're above I think you Connecticut? you can call anywhere in the world. Yeah. It hooks up to the satellite. Well, I think so that the is... only problem is the cord gets hooked sometime on trees. <laughs> <and> <laughs> telephone pole, but... Well, gentlemen, I want to thank you for stopping by our show this morning. Well, thank you. Well, it's and amazing. softball, you... Yeah. Hey, you are, hey, uh, hey, 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 hey. We You're want everyone on. to come down, support. We'll raise some money for some people. and um, As opposed to some, some dogs. People, yeah, <laughs> or, yeah, whatever it happens. But we're looking forward to the game. And uh, please come and see us if you're out there and uh, you see us uh, yeah, in advertised real, there. In real world, Bill. Come yes, down. please. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, the monkeys, boys, say goodbye. Put it on. Here, Here we go, <laughs> walking down the street. <laughs> Bye-bye, everybody.